Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a book review on The Maid by Kimberly Cutter. The Maid tells the story of Jeanette d'Arc, who would later be known as Joan of Arc. Jeanette is a young girl when she hears voices in her head and realizes that she is God's chosen to lead the French army, crown its rightful king, and banish the English from French land. The Maid is a novel about one girl's destiny to save France while battling against those who would underestimate her. So, this is my very first historical fiction novel based off of Joan of Arc, and that's pretty exciting. You know, it's kind of unfortunate at the same time, considering what an iconic female, you know, Joan of Arc is in our, our history. It's, a, it's kind of a shame we don't see a lot of historical fiction focused on Joan of Arc. Uh, I have read some other historical fiction where Joan of Arc does play a very kind of small role in the story. For instance, Joan of Arc does pop up at some point in Philippa Gregory's Lady of the Rivers, and then she also pops up very briefly in The Queen's Secrets by Jean Plady. So yeah, it was just really nice to get a full-length novel focused on Joan of Arc. And by the way, Joan of Arc, I am going to strictly refer to her as Joan of Arc because in, in this novel she's given her her correct name, you know, her French name, which is the correct way, and it's pronounced, I believe, I had to look up a guide how to even pronounce Joan of Arc's name correctly, and it's pronounced like Jeanette d'Arc. <laughs> So yeah, it's kind of a mouthful for me to say uh, since I'm not French, so I am just going to absolutely be referring to her as Joan of Arc for you guys, so we don't complicate matters with Jeanne d'Arc. <laughs> like I said in the synopsis, this book is about Joan who early in her life she hears voices in her head and she comes to realize that those voices are coming from a god and God basically wants Joan to save France, crown its right king and get rid of the English from their from their land and so yeah Joan you know she she has a lot put on her at a young age and you know her family doesn't believe her other people don't believe her so yeah very early in this novel she is faced with so many obstacles you know kind of obstacles within herself and then obstacles from those around her and then yeah eventually as you know through history she's able to eventually meet up with King Charles the eighth of France as she's able to eventually crown him. So yeah, kind of when you get to the middle of the novel, she kind of faces some of that obstacle with, with King Charles and then his advisors. And yeah, his advisors are some of the biggest obstacles she kind of has to get around because they don't think she's who she says she is. They just think she's some weirdo peasant girl, basically. And then even some of the top military leaders, you know, because Joan joins the, the army at some point and she wears men's clothing and you know women wearing men's clothing was a sin back in the day so so yeah Joan she has to face all this with the military leaders and the advisors and they they all don't want a woman in the battle because women in battles is just all wrong and just something that is present throughout this entire novel from the get-go Joan knows her destiny she knows exactly what she's supposed to be doing she knows exactly what the end game is that God has in mind and the thing is Joan knows the end. She knows her her impending doom, her impending fate, and as we all know, Joan of Arc is, is burned at the stake later on. So yeah, Joan, she is, she's a young woman. She has to, to deal with, with all these men who are underestimating her. She has to deal with the fact that she knows she's going to die eventually. She has very limited time with, with you know, how, how she has to go about getting King Charles crowned and getting the, the English out of France and whatnot. So yeah, she has a very, very limited time frame here. And she faces, uh, you know, a lot of these big moments where she, she doesn't believe in the cause. Sometimes she loses faith in herself. She loses faith in God sometimes. So, so yeah, there's a lot going on in this book with Joan. <laughs> so yeah, the big kind of theme going on through the book is this idea of faith. Who has faith? who doesn't have faith, the power of belief, 
as well as the uncertainty of faith and whatnot. And then those who think Joan is divinely sent and those who think Joan is sent by the devil. So moving on to the story in general and then moving on to some of the characters, Kimberly Cutter's writing was really, really wonderful. You could clearly see that Kimberly Cutter did her research. The only negative with Kimberly Cutter's writing for me is that sometimes it did get a little boring. It did get a little dry. I kind of found myself zoning in and out on occasion. But yeah, that's not to say that her writing was by any means terrible. It's just, yeah, it, it, some of it was just a little boring for me. And then another big thing for me, even though I am a historical fiction lover, the thing is, I, I'm not really up to date on French history, weirdly enough. You know, I know pretty much everything about English history, especially with like the English monarchy. But yeah, I'm not really too familiar with this time in particular with Joan of Arc and everything going on in France and whatnot. So yeah, a lot of the, the characters who would be introduced in this novel, I just wouldn't know who they were. It's like I, I, I would figure out that they were key historical figures, but in my head I was like, well, I don't know who these people are. And sometimes I just had a hard time keeping track of all of these various different historical figures because a lot of them would kind of come in and out of the story and I'd have to try to place them later on. <laughs> so I guess a big thing with this novel, Kimberly Cutter, she really just dives right into the thick of things and you kind of got to know your history. This is not a book for beginners. I wouldn't say, if you have absolutely no idea about Joan of Arc, probably a bad novel to start off with. You probably need to research and kind of figure out another book to start off with, because yeah, like I said, this book, it just goes right into things. You better know your history. You better know all the key historical figures. I think I would definitely like to learn more about this period and Joan and just all these various different historical figures. I definitely would like to learn more and, you know, grow, you know, grow in that aspect. And then, yeah, definitely reread this novel because I, I have a feeling if I had been a bit more in tune with the time period, I definitely would have enjoyed this novel a heck of a lot more, I think. And then as for characters, I really loved Joan herself. She was really shy and timid at the start. You're pretty much in Joan's headspace the entire novel, so yeah, you really get to, to dig down into the things that that make Joan happy, the things that make Joan angry. So yeah, like I said, she starts off very shy and timid, she gets the voices in her head, and then she grows into this really powerful female figure who is determined to, to save France and, and go through with that with her destiny that God has set her up on even while knowing her impending fate and doom. And then as for some other characters in this novel, this novel is littered with, with men. There's pretty much all men in this novel. Joan's kind of one of the few women. Uh, I, I had a hard time keeping straight a lot of these men. A lot of them kind of come in and out of Joan's life over the course of the novel. So yeah, none of them really developed a really strong personality. And yeah, I didn't really get too attached to some of these other characters. It's like Joan is kind of really the only character you get attached to. So yeah, yeah, I did really enjoy this novel for what it was. Like I said, I just wish I had been a bit more up to date with this time in history so I could enjoy it even more. And just the big thing for me is that even though I'm not entirely familiar, I just really appreciated a novel all about Joan of Arc because the woman deserves it. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for my thoughts on The Maid. Have you guys read this novel? Would you like to read it? Let me know down below. So that's it for this book review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you liked this book review, you may like these other book reviews. Bye, guys.